tuning in my name is bianca and if you're a return subscriber welcome back so as y'all can see by the title today um today's video is going to be me just showing y'all my wash day routine um after i take out my protective style so i just took out my braids last night that i had for my birthday i had them in for about seven weeks i had some um knotless braids in for about seven weeks um if you are new to my channel i am a newly natural I knew be at being natural. I've been natural for 10 months now, almost a year. So, um, but yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do, Jesus, it's hot here. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna show y'all everything that I'm using for my um, wash day routine. The tools I'm using is a wide tooth comb, my fingers, and my two detangling brushes that need to be cleaned off ill. And then as far as products, um, First, I will be using my handy dandy pre-shampoo. Y'all, if you're not new to my channel, you all know how I feel about this. I love this stuff so much. Let me get it to focus. There we go. So it's by African Pride. It's a, um, aloe coconut water detangling and conditioning pre-shampoo. This makes detangling my hair so much easier. Y'all like the slip? I'm telling you, try, try this out, give it a try. But anyway, for um, shampoo, first I'm going with my Clarifying Shampoo. The one I've been using for a couple months and, you know, I like it, it gets the job done, is Eden Body Works uh, Peppermint Tea Tree Clarifying Shampoo. So this is the one I'm going to be using today. I am going to be doing two washes with this because I have a lot of buildup and just dirt, dandruff, ew. And then I'm going in with my Kira Care Hydrating Detangler Shampoo. Um, again, this is AOG in my... Uh, routine I was using this back when I was relaxed and for conditioner I'm using my uh, Kira Care Humecto there we go the Kira Care uh, Humecto cream conditioner love this stuff now um, I stopped detangling every wash day I will get into that in an, uh, another video but when I say detangling deep conditioning <laughs> Lord I stopped deep conditioning every single wash day but which I'll get into in two <laughs> which I'll get into in another video but um since my hair was up for seven weeks and I wasn't able to properly you know condition it wash it or nothing like that I am going to be doing a deep condition today and I'm going to be using the uh, Shea Moisture Amala Oil Balm Repair Mask there we go hopefully y'all it focus if not I'll put a picture up on the screen but well, this smells so good but as y'all can see i'm almost done so um, i was trying it out um i like it i do like it but that is everything i'm going to be using and i have my microfiber towel to dry my hair off i do not use a regular towel to dry my hair and yeah so we're about to get started the first thing i'm gonna do is um of course detangle my hair and then we're gonna jump right into shampooing. So let go. Alright, y'all. See we gotta see all that build up. Ugh, it's filthy. Alright, so I also have my spray bottle. I'm about to fill it up with water. I do use water to help detangle, um, separate my hair, and then I'll um spray the section with water and then I'll start using the pre pool. So I'm gonna separate the section with my fingers first. I'm going to just section the back of my hair off with my fingers. Oh. Okay. Now, put this towel around my neck. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so now that I got a section, or the back section off, I'm just going to go ahead and start detangling. So I got this section soaking wet, then I just start kind of detangling lightly with my fingers before I go in with the um, detangling brush. All right, so. When I'm detangling, I start at the ends and work my way up. 
Now, now we should flip the water. Let's try and do tank for a little bit. And now I'll go in with the, um, the pre pool. <laughs> so, and a little goes a long way with this stuff, y'all. Like, this is how much I have on my hand. And I just apply throughout the whole section. Finger detangle. Going with my detangle brush. I love this stuff so much. All right. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put this off to the side and do the other side. Just throw the clip on there like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. extra long so I just I showed y'all what I did now I'm gonna come back to y'all when I finish detangling the rest of my hair okay y'all so my hair is all detangled I just put it in twists just to keep it um separated some of them unrivaled as y'all can see but I'm about to joke mm, Joe I'm about to go ahead and jump right into shampooing like I said, I'm going to do two washes with my clarifying shampoo. And then I'm going to follow up with two washes from my Kira Care shampoo. So, there you go. I forgot to show y'all two more tools I'm using. This is a uh, scalp massager that I will be using when my conditioner is in my hair. And then this is like a, um, like a scalp scrubber for me to like scrub my scalp while I'm washing it. To make, just to make sure I get all the dirt and dandruff and build up off my scalp so Done with shampoo, we're gonna go right into the um Care Care Humecto Cream Conditioner. And I'm gonna start applying this in my hair. My twists did come out, I'm sure y'all probably seen. They always do. Maybe I I either need to start doing smaller twists or um plaits when I'm trying to uh wash my hair like that because my twists always unravel. And it is a little easier to, you know. Did like wash my hair when it's in sections like that, but whatever, that's beside the point. Nonetheless, <laughs> shampooing is done, and now we are going to go into conditioner. I'm about to grab my other bottle because it's not that much in here, so I'll be right back. Okay. I'm so glad I just re up on my shampoo and conditioner because this is not enough for today. But for the conditioner, um, I'm going to just be separating my hair into sections, applying, detangling it again, and applying the conditioner. I'm gonna let the conditioner sit for a few, maybe like 10 minutes and then we rinse it out because I am doing a deep conditioner as well. So, yeah. is no joke oh my gosh my arms hurt my back hurt i'm over it already but um the, <laughs> the conditioner is applied all over my head i put my head back in some chunky twists now i am um, i do have to do something real quick so i'm gonna just put my cap on and let the conditioner sit in my hair for about 15 minutes while i do what i need to do downstairs in the kitchen and then I'll come back to y'all uh, when I'm rinsing this out. Okay, y'all. So, as y'all seen, I just rinsed the conditioner out of my hair. My twist did manage <laughs> to stay in for the most part. So, that's good. But now I'm about to apply my... Uh, 
I look so pretty. <laughs> now I'm about to just apply my deep conditioner. So, so like I told y'all, I'm using the Shea Moisture Bond Repair Mask. I don't have a lot in here, so I don't know if this is even enough to cover my whole head, but we're going to make it work. If not, I do have a little bit of my TGIN um, Miracle, Honey Miracle Hair Mask. It's like a little teeny bit in here. So, between the two of these, I'm going to get the deep conditioner in. So, the way I'm doing, my battery about to die. The way I'm doing my deep conditioner is the exact, I mean, the way I apply it is the exact same way as I apply my regular conditioner. So I'm basically just going to take each twist out one by one. Um, so while I'll take it out and make sure my hair is detangled and make sure my hair is detangled and then apply the mask and then twist it back up. So I'm going to do the first section with y'all and then I'm just going to come back to y'all when I'm under my um, steam cap. Because, like I said, I applied the exact same way, so. There you go, so. Let me just get these other twists out of my way for a second. I went and got my own brush, because them other two brushes be pissing me off. <laughs> but, um, I took that twist out, and now I'm just going to detangle it. Detangle this section. And apply the, uh, deep conditioner. Now, this is so thick. I really like it, and it smells amazing. And then I'm just going to apply it all over the section. And I pay extra special attention to my ends. Because y'all know that's the oldest part of your hair. So, And then just go and detangle one more time. When the section is fully coated, I go in and detangle one more time. And I'm just going to put that twist back in for the steam cap. Deep conditioner is so messy, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do this for the rest of the twists in my hair, and then I'm going to sit under my steam cap. <clears throat> okay, y'all. So I have my um, deep conditioner applied all over, and I'm just giving myself a little scalp massage, which feels so good. But I'm about to sit under my um, steam cap with the deep conditioner in my hair. And for about 30 minutes or so, and then we're going to rinse it out. So, I will see y'all in a few minutes when I'm under the steam cap. Because I love and I love and I love and I love you only. Because y'all, now I almost forgot about y'all. I, <laughs> I was about to go rinse this conditioner out and go about my night. I forgot I was recording. But anyway, I just came from under, I just came from under the steam cap. That conditioner smell was really good. And this is what my hair is looking like. I love when I cover under the steam cap and my hair is, is like warm. Like really juicy, really soft, moisturized. So I'm about to go rinse, these, um, rinse this deep conditioner out. I try to keep my twists intact, but we'll see how that go. <laughs> because I love and I love and I love and I love you only. Because I need and I need and I need and I need you more. Yeah, you know I run and I run. <laughs> all right y'all so uh the conditioner is out of my hair it still smells so good oh my gosh as y'all seeing i just rinsed the conditioner out this is how we looking right now i was able to salvage well not salvage but keep my twist in while i rinsed it out but um let me cover this mess up but that is the end of this video i just wanted to show y'all my wash day routine when i take a protector style out of my hair this is all the hair i lost Oof, it's a lot but i'm not tripping because as y'all see i still got hella hair left but you know when you have a protective style in for over a month a month or, or a month plus you know all that dead hair is tangled is locked in them braids or that sewing or whatever the case is so you know it's trapped and it can't get out so i mean this is a lot but whatever, it's not the end of the world whatever but like I said, that's the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, as always, if you have any questions, tips, tricks, suggestions, whatever, please leave them down in the comments. Feel free to leave them in the comments. I don't bite. I will respond, interact with y'all, and engage. But, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all, I'm done talking. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much again for watching, and bye. If nobody told you. Yeah.
Not the only 